obstructive sleep apnea is one of the most common sleep related breathing disorder so what happens during obstructive sleep apnea when we sleep normally during deeper stages the muscles tend to relax in patients of obstructive sleep apnea the muscles relax even more resulting in obstruction of the airway and because of this obstruction there is cessation of air flow that can be either partial or complete resulting in reduction of air flow leading to oxygen desaturations and frequent arousals from sleep so what are the symptoms of obstructive sleep apnea patient can have loud snoring disturbing the partner and the partner might also notice witnessed choking or gasping for breath and other than this they can also feel dryness of mouth sore throat after awakening other than this they can also be frequent urinations in the night all these are nocturnal symptoms and what are the more what are the daytime symptoms these patients often complain of morning headache and tendency to fall asleep that is excessive daytime sleepiness though they might have slept for 7 to 8 hours in the night they frequently complain of unrefreshing sleep resulting in decreased concentration anxiety irritation agitated behavior and this can also hamper their work related activities and very scary thing is that this can also lead to various work related accidents and also accidents during driving frequent road traffic accidents and how, what are the risk factors for sleep apnea obesity is one of the most commonest risk factor not all the patients who are obese have sleep apnea but obesity being a very important risk factor to be taken care of other than obesity there are certain medical conditions like diabetes mellitus systemic hypertension coronary artery diseases heart diseases heart failure stroke all these patients have increased risk for developing sleep apnea and sleep apnea is very common in male gender and the risk increases with age so there is being very uh, common in age group more than 50 years other than this there can be any craniofacial abnormalities involving the jaw and even tonsils adenoids frequently in children can have symptoms of obstructive sleep apnea for example for milder cases weight reduction and lifestyle modification change in positions during sleep sleeping on the side they can that can help and even oral appliances are available but mostly for moderate and severe cases cpap therapy is recommended so in case you have any of the symptoms even if you don't have your partner notices that you gasp for breath and all this and you have your blood sugars not controlled and uh, bp not optimized do check yourself for sleep apnea so you can consult a sleep specialist right away thank you Thank you.